Can you believe that all three of these hats are made with this exact same tutorial? I know, crazy, right? My name is Melanie Ham. welcome to my channel, and we are gonna learn how to make this hat in today's video. Don't forget to check out the blog post with all of the details and the written instructions. Let's get started. Let's start with a slip knot. And like I said, I'm gonna be using a K hook for this, but you can check the blog post for all of those written instructions and all those details and some of your options with photos so that you can see what your hat might look like. So slip knot, and then we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is gonna be the width of your band right here. Okay, so if you want a wider band, you totally can do that and increase that to the width that you would like. So if we chain five, that means we're gonna have four single crochets. So you'll just need one additional one for that turning chain. So we're gonna place our hook in the second chain. So skip over this one we're going to insert our hook here. And a single crochet is it insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. That's a single crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way across. Here's our last stitch. So that's how it looks for right, for right now. We're gonna chain one, turn our work, and now we're gonna be going back across and creating our band. So we need to put a single crochet in this first stitch here. All the way down, there should be a total of four. Okay, so that was one. And we are inserting the hook underneath these two strands. There was two, three, and this last guy, four. So if you did a chain of five at the beginning, you should have four single crochets. And just keep that in mind as you go along and do your entire band. And we're gonna repeat this until the band is large enough to fit around your head or whoever you are making this for. So if it's for a child, you will want to know the measurement of their head. I will have a chart in the blog post for general sizes. Of, of head sizes based by age. Chain one, and we're gonna continue in the same way. All right, so get cozy, and uh, you'll be an expert at the single crochet, and I want you to go ahead and finish this band until it is the size that you are looking for. All right, so my band is complete. I wanted to just show you how you could measure it. Just lay it all out there. Mine is about 21 inches. Now, once you do that, we need to connect our ends. So I'm gonna put my hook through this side and then this side. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop that's on the hook. And then you're gonna do that all the way down to connect everything. Okay. So now see, this will be the outside part of the hat. So I'm gonna do one more so that we've got a nice edge here to work with. And start to work on our edge. All right, so it should look like this. And what we're gonna do is a uh, single crochet, just like we've been doing, all the way around the side of our band. And so about each row needs to have a single crochet. So we're gonna insert single crochet. And you wanna try to make sure that you've got 
two strands. And then this is going to give us our basis for our cluster stitches. All right, so go and do that around the entire top. This is how it looks. So go ahead and finish that all the way around your band. All right, so here's how it's looking now that we're coming back around to the end. And this will be like the back side. So even if there's a slight bit of seam there, not a big deal. Um, but I want you to take a look. There should not be like flaring outwards. Okay, so your single crochet should not be kind of like flaring out and looking like you have too many stitches in this kind of foundation row to build our hat. Because if that's the case, then you're gonna end up having to decrease later and it'll give you trouble. So right now, if that's happening, you probably put too many stitches as you were going around. So um, give that, get that adjustment done now. And slip stitch back to the beginning. Now we need to chain three. One, two, three. This is gonna count as our first double crochet. Just go ahead and put it right down in this stitch. We're gonna do two more double crochets. And this is gonna be the beginning of our cluster stitches. Okay, and a refresher in case you need a double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over two loops, yarn over two loops. Now we're going to skip two single crochets down here. So here's one, here's two. We're gonna place another three double crochet cluster here. Okay, so there's one, two, and all of those double crochets are in the same stitch. Three. Skip two, three double crochets here. Continue that all the way around and I will meet you back here at the beginning. So let's finish up this round. One, two here. And this part is gonna kind of depend on how many of those single crochets you made the, at the beginning, how large your hat is. Everybody's might kind of look a little bit different. But um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here just to make it really simple. I'm not gonna make you like have a certain amount of single crochets on that foundation. So this is what I'm gonna do. So here we go. I've got one, two. That means that my next cluster needs to be here. So really, there's not gonna be a very big space in between this one and this next guy. Don't worry about it, okay? It's a small space, but it's gonna be a small adjustment. Um, if you've got one extra space or one fewer space in between those cluster stitches, this is, this is not a crisis <laughs> and it will be okay. It's just way easier to do it this way than to like have to count and have the repeat be all correct. So if you don't agree with that method of this crochet, then I might not be your girl, but this is, you know, you won't notice anything at the end, trust me. Okay, so we're gonna connect with a slip stitch this round, okay? So we're gonna go, here's our chain three that we did initially. So we need to go into the top of that chain three and slip stitch. So pull that yarn through and then through again. Okay, so you can see this space is just slightly smaller. Uh, now we're gonna chain three, one, two, Three, and then what I'm gonna do is actually work my cluster into this spot kind of behind that chain three. All right, so we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna insert it here. Just right into that spot. No need to find two strands or anything, just right into that space in between. Okay, so there's number two and number three. All right, and now we're gonna do our three double cro crochet cluster in each of these spaces in between the ones from the previous row. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook here.
yarn over, double crochet into the next space. And this is going to be really all there is to it until your hat reaches the desired size. Um, and of course I will check back in with you before I get there, but that's the same idea. So you can kind of see how that granny cross, that granny cluster is kind of looking. And then at the end of each round, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to slip stitch and then um, do your first granny square into the one behind. Okay, so I'll show you that again one more time when I get back around there. That's how it's looking. And then of course, this is how it looks with this hat. And this is one of those, you know, self-striping type of balls of yarn. And it creates this where each round ended up being another color. So that was sort of like a happy accident. I didn't intend for that to happen. Um, but that's kind of the look that you would get with this kind of yarn. And this one does have some variation. You can see it kind of gets darker and then lighter, but um, it's gonna have a totally different look, which was why I picked it. So that way we can show you some different options. Okay, so finish this round. I'll meet you back here. And then I will leave you to it to create the body of your hat. Here's how you can connect it. Top of that chain three, slip stitch. Okay, and then when you chain three again, one, two, three, and then you wanna place that, um, the next two double crochets kind of behind the chain three. So that way it goes in between these two. Okay. So yarn over. And it just scooches it over. You won't even notice. All right, and then continue this around. If you take a look at this hat, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen total rounds. And this fits me um, just a little bit slouchy. So um, I will post pictures, of course, and you can see the pictures on the blog. But um, you will have enough yarn if you have two balls here for it to be even slouchier and to create a pom-pom if you would like to. Okay, so go ahead and keep going and I will check back in with you in a little bit. So now we can just keep going. We've got a little knot here, but it's gonna get woven in. We won't even notice it and then we don't have any tails to weave in at the end. So keep going until you reach the desired height of your hat. I've got about four more rounds to go and then we will finish it up. Here's my sizing. About 11 inches across and about, you know, nine inches tall. I tried this on myself and I think this size is gonna work for me. So once you hit this point, I want you to do a single crochet in each stitch going all the way around. And that's gonna help us to uh, cinch up the top and weave things in a little bit better. Okay, we can chain one. And then just at the top of each one of those stitches, we're gonna single crochet. So that just is gonna create a little bit more meat for us to grab onto when we cinch it up. So go ahead and do that. I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, finishing up here, one last stitch. And then I'm gonna slip stitch back to the beginning. All right, now cut your yarn, but leave it a decent tail. And then you can take a yarn needle. First we can pull it through. Then we wanna weave it into our yarn needle, thread it. And what we wanna do is go in and out, in and out from that single crochet stitch, okay? So we'll go in.
And after you get through a few, you can pull it through. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around so that we can then cinch it up. Okay, so continue weeding it. All right, so then go ahead and cinch it up. If you're using a like a, this is kind of a roving kind of style yarn, be careful when you pull it so you don't uh, rip it. So you might have to do it a little bit gently. And then once you get it mostly closed up, uh, we want to sew up that hole, especially if you're not going to put a pom-pom on. So I actually made a pom-pom and I used the green size clover pom-pom maker. So I'm going to add a pom-pom on mine, but um, I want to show you how to close it up in case you don't want to add a pom-pom. So we're going to thread it and then we're going to sew it closed from the inside. So we'll just grab some yarn and just go across and diagonal so that we sew that closed. I really like this method because it's very easy for beginners. Um, there's not a lot, it's really easy to size it for other people. Um, so I really like this for that. It can create a little bit of a bulkier top because we are, you know, gathering. And also it can uh, use up a little more yarn because there's just more bulk in the hat. Um, but overall, I really like this method, especially for beginners. It's really, really fast too. You don't have to mess with how many stitches are in each round and all that stuff. Okay. So once it's sewn closed, then you want to weave in this tail so that it's nice and secure. That way it's completely closed at the top. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can definitely check out the blog post for all of the written instructions and any of the other details. All of the photos will be on there as well as some optional instructions and materials that I use and all that good stuff is over at my blog, melaniekham.com. I'll put the address right here and it'll be the first link underneath the video so that you can make sure that you check it out. I would love to see your photos. So if you are on social media, tag me on social media on Facebook, Instagram, um, all those links are down below as well. I would love to see what you make with these patterns. Thanks so much for watching and happy stitching.